What's up, guys? It's Pro Wrestling Loot. Um, came really late. Um, nobody else has it. Um, they haven't posted spoilers or anything. Um, wearing a Pro Wrestling Crate shirt. Oops. It shrunk, though, quite a bit when I watched it this time, and I'm pretty pissed about it because it's, like, my favorite shirt I've ever gotten from these bosses, and it fucking shrunk. And now it's, like, real tight. I'm fucking pissed. Anyways, fucking Pro Wrestling Loot finally came. Um, I'm not going to say what's in it. I know one thing's in it because they straight told us. Um, and we know who it is. So I know what the autograph is, is what it is. Um, but I talked to them because I was, you know, the box didn't move. They shipped it December 11th and they're supposed to ship by December 10th, 5th to the 10th. They didn't do that. Um, they shipped on the 11th. It didn't move until the 17th. You got here within three or four days um but pro wrestling crate shipped early because of christmas and it got here in two or something but loot uses uh united states postal service and that's why it takes longer than you know they couldn't send anything out of california was their reason um it was harder to get shit out of california through the mail um so everything was shut down but that was their reason um personally i don't really care it just came i'm trying to do the video quick I already spent a minute explaining what was going on and everything. Um, God damn, I can't open this motherfucker. I'm trying to. Alright. It's open. Now, we're going to do the shirt first. I have no fucking clue. I can't remember who's in this box, but Paul London. Um, I might have just given the autograph away. <laughs> I definitely did. But I don't care. Alright. So I don't know what the hell this is. I have no clue. Smells good though. It's weird. It smells. Like, I don't know. I like like shop smells. You know, like warehouse type smells. I, I like it. Uh, Cobb County Police. Walk the line or serve hard time, Georgia. I'm guessing this is a uh, Jeff Cobb. His shirt. That'd be pretty cool. I liked him, and the few times I've seen him in AEW, it's a nice little fucking shirt though. I mean, it's it's cool as shit. Probably get shot on the street nowadays because you got a fucking police badge on. But I mean, some people are gonna fucking you know, with all that shit going on, fucking well, aren't riots and shit anymore. But people were fucking you know killing each other and shit. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know about all that. The card pack. Um, I am going to open it. It's the four corner cards, November twenty nineteen Platinum Series number six. I am going to open it. I don't think any of them would be autographed or anything along those lines. We're going to see who's in here. It's going to take a minute. Um, Luke Cox. Charomi Saver. I don't know who that is. I think that's Darren Young. It's Fred something Rosser. Rick Luxury. I know you can't read them because they're backwards. Jody Christoffen. Levi Shapiro. Jesus Rodriguez. I'm guessing it's Jesus because it's Jesus. That's Rodriguez. Uh, Ricardo Rodriguez. Hartley Jackson. Casey Spinelli. Whoever that is. Jesus Christ. Jesus Kincaid. Jason, sorry, not Jesus. What the hell? Rising Stars, Adrian Quest. He's got like his own special card. Hunter Freeman. Sammy Jane. Wolf Zaddies. Odinson. Big motherfucker. Pork Tamako. Snooty Fox. Look like fucking Ice Cube or somebody. Heidi, or Hyde, I'm not really sure, probably Hyde, Hyde, Tanner Black, it's got a face mask, like old Cody Rhodes does, Zoe Sky, Devin Monroe, almost throw him, I think I have this guy's autograph, Bill Alfonso, pretty sure I do, and Anthony Silvis. Nothing amazing there. Um, none of them are autographed or anything. It's just card pack thrown in, basically. 
the big thing is the autograph in this month's box. Um, you know, that, that's, that's all. Oops. And do the pin. I actually don't know who that is. Bobby Eaton, I think. Oh, been having trouble with my arm, guys, so it's hurting to extend it. So if you see me grunt or, like, you make a weird face, that's probably why. As Bobby Eaton. He looks weird as shit. I don't know if you can... Uh, you probably ain't gonna be able to see it. He, he looks super fucking weird. Like, his face. Weird as hell. There's a mask in this one. That's cool as shit. Oh, I think they gave a picture autograph, too. Well, that saves this box. And there's a fucking mask. That's cool as shit. I don't know who it is, but we're gonna do the mask first. I didn't get to... Is that Sin Cara? Looks like it's Sin Cara type mask. That's cool. This is the first time I've actually gotten like a mask mask instead of like a face mask for Corona. I like it. I ain't gonna strap it all up or nothing, but it's pretty fucking dope. I like it. I think it's Sin Cara. We'll have to look on that card once we get to the bottom. But that's a very fucking cool mask. I like that. I like that. A lot. I like it a lot. Alright. So we're gonna save this for last because that's the big thing. So I do not know who this actual other autograph is. There might be two of them because there's two certificate cards, like the authenticity cards. Um, so there might be two of them. I actually don't know. Um, there's a little rising stars thing in the back instead of like a card, you know, a collector's card. It says the neon phenomenon Anthony Idol. Hails from Las Vegas, Nevada, and has been leading his own pool party world tour, as he puts it, since he hit the ring in 2014. Although he's only just being seen nationwide on championship wrestling from Hollywood and Primetime Live, I Idol has locked horns with the likes of Willie Mack, Brian Cage, Mil Muertes, Brody King, and Psychosis on the independent scene, and has proven he can hang with serious heavyweights and legends alike. It's cool. It's not something I'm going to keep. And here's the card. I'm not going to obviously look at it. Let's see. I'm gonna look to see if they uh nope, this is uh just one in here. Um the other one must be for the Paul London autograph on the thing. Yeah, I already told you guys anyways. I do not know what this one is, so let's find out. I still don't know. <laughs> I still don't know. Oh, Anthony Idol. That guy that the rising stars, that's probably why they that's cool. He looks okay. He looks big. He looks kind of old. I don't know if you can. That's a nice picture, though. I do like it. But he's that little scrawny dude. Uh, but he has nice. I mean, I like it. Um, take that out. Oh my gosh, it's going to take me forever to put it back in here because I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> Jesus. I can't figure out. I have a specific way I put all my autographs in and I was trying to figure out which way I put it and stuff. So that's nice. It's got the... What the hell is that? Oh, it's a hair. That's nice. Got the little card in the back, the authenticity card. I did not know there was going to be two autographs. Now to the main autograph, we do have an authenticity card for that as well. I do not think it says what it is, but it has a card signed, but you know, saying this all this item um is autographed. It is nice. Okay. I don't know if you guys just saw it or not. But it is the pint size all-star that is autographed by Paul London. I will not be selling this one because it is autographed and I do keep autographs. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see it. There he is. I didn't get a special one. I think they came in, like, gold and, uh, bronze. Um, but I didn't. I don't know. I think they did. Um, has the thing on the back saying it's authentic. Um, plus you get the authentic, uh, authenticity card. Um, there's the actual autograph right over his name. On the back, it tells you about him. I'll read it for you guys, because, you know, why not? Known for being one of the most unique and exciting wrestlers to enter the squared circle, Paul London first caught the attention of Ring of Honor fans with high-flying and risky moves. Over time, he captured many championships in the indie circuit, 
before making his WWE debut in 2003, where he would become a cruiserweight and tag team champion. London debuted in Lucha Underground in 2016, where he would become the leader of the Rabbit Tribe. Look out for the gold and blue variants. Collect them all. Yeah, see, I didn't get one of those. That would have been cool. But I'm kind of glad that I got this variant with the autograph, because like a gold one would have been stupid. Although, I probably would have sold it if it was gold, because those can go for like $200 fucking dollars. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, especially autographed. Those could easily go for like $200. They go for like $150 on an autograph. Um, but I do like that. It's very nice. Very nice detail and stuff. Um, I cannot complain with this box at all. I love 99% of everything in it. The only thing that really, you know, kind of was stupid was the cards. I'm not a big fan of them, but the shirt was nice. Um, probably going to get shot. The mask was really nice. I liked the mask. The pin was cool. The pin was cool. Bobby Eaton. Um, a lot of people like him. Um, the extra autograph, we did not know that was in there, was the, uh, yeah, oh god, what was his name? <laughs> Anthony Idol, that's what it was, and then the Paul London figure, that, that's cool. Um, throw that in there with that. And we'll go over the December 2020 Mystery Wrestling Box. Autograph toy, personally signed by wrestling superstar Paul London, that was a pint-sized all-star. Wrestling t-shirt, protect law and order, or serve hard times. Doesn't even say who it is. Um, I'm, I'm guessing it's Jeff Cobb, because it says Cobb. Wrestling mask, who did you receive? Oh, they were sending out different ones. That's fucking dope. They were sending out a whole fucking, like, they could have sent you any one of those. And I got, some of those are cool, and I got a fucking plain one. You could have got, uh, there's Ray... Uh, Sin Cara, the blue one. There's a couple rays. There's a black one, black and white ray. There's a couple Sin Caras. Um, a white and red ray. Some generics. I think I might have got a Sin Cara. I think that's his. Um, La Parca. There's his on there. So that's cool. Signed 8x10 photo. I want to watch other people's videos and see what masks they got, you know, because that's something cool to look at. I'd recommend checking other people's videos because that's cool. Um, I like how they did that. Just a mask, you know, they just threw one in there and was like, hey, I hope you... Um, signed 8x10 photo, the new Rising Star, Anthony Idol, signed photo. Trading card, set, and pin. Four Corners card set, Bobby Eaton, exclusive pin. It's very cool. Doesn't say who's coming next month. I can't really remember off the top of my head either. But I will be doing it. I already subscribed to both of them. Or renewed, I guess. It renewed. Um, but overall made your money back with the box. I mean, I'm not going to sell anything. Maybe the pin and the card set. Everything in this box is pretty much a keep. Um, the mask. I I can't see myself selling the mask. But I could, you know. Um, it's not a super cool mask, but it's still a mask, and that's cool. Um, I would have rather had one of the other ones, because those are fucking way cooler. But, uh, was not a bad mask. The pint-sized all-star, that's cool. I cannot complain about that whatsoever. Um, and the extra autograph, can't complain about an extra autograph. They didn't tell people. It's a pleasant surprise. Whether you know the person or not, I didn't know them. Um, and the shirt, um, you might get shot, but <laughs> that's about it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, pretty much it <laughs> i'll see you what next next month um should be pro wrestling loot first unless their shit you know is like last time where it won't come early but it should be here before unless crate sends early again but i'll see you guys then